क्वेश्चन इज गिवेन स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सिक्सटीन स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एट इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी फोर पावर एक्स सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स हेयर हाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स लेट्स ई सोल्यूशन फर्स्ट दिस इज सिक्सटीन फर्स्ट इफ यू आर टेकिंग सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन इज इक्वल टू वी आर सिंप्लीफाई सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस सिक्सटीन इन टर्म्स ऑफ सिक्सटी फोर सो हाउ वी कैन सिंप्लीफाई दिस लेट सी सिक्सटीन इज इक्वल टू वी कैन राइट सिक्सटी फोर बाय फोर राइट ना इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी फोर पावर वन इफ यू आर टेकिंग पावर फॉर्म देन सिक्सटी फोर पावर वन एंड दिस फोर If we are taking in power form, then we can write this cube root of sixty-four because we are converting all terms in sixty-four uh, using sixty-four number, right? Is equal to now sixty-four power one. We can write this, and here sixty-four. This is cube root, so we can write this one power three equal to. Now sixty four power one here and here sixty four power one by three. So we can write this sixty four power one minus one by three. This power will goes up is equal to now sixty four power one minus one by three. So two by three. So this is the simplification of sixteen in terms of sixty four. Now next term is uh, eight square root of eight. So we are taking here eight. Then eight is equal to. We can write this in terms of sixty-four square root of sixty-four. Square root of sixty-four is equal to eight. And if we are taking in sixty-four uh, power one by two, this is square root of form. So sixty-four power one by two, right? Now we are using question R here. So question is written: square root of sixteen, square root of eight, is equal to sixty-four. Power x, right? Now, this sixteen. First, we are using this sixteen. So sixteen, we can write here sixty-four by four, or here we can write this sixty-four by four, right? And here is square root of eight. So square root of eight, we can write this square root of sixty-four power one by two, right? Square root of this eight. It equal to sixty four power one by two, and here square root. So this is square root, right? Is equal to sixty four power x. Clear? Now in next term, this is sixty four power four. So this sixty four power four we can write sixty four. Here you can see sixty four power one cube root of sixty four. Sixty four power one. And here, cube root of sixty-four. Cube root of sixty-four, right? Cube root of sixty-four into next term that is sixty-four power one by two. This one and this is square root of power that is one by two, right? Is equal to sixty-four power x. Next term. Now sixty-four. When we are simplifying this term, sixty-four. We uh, finally we got sixty-four power one. In next term you can see here sixty four power one minus one by three so we can write this now sixty four power one minus one by three times sixty four power one by two into one by two so it will become one by four sixty four power one by four is equal to sixty four power x right now is equal to Sixty four power one minus one by three, so it will come here sixty four power two by three. When we are taking LCM, sixty four power two by three into sixty four power one by four, one by four is equal to sixty four power x. Equal to we can say here a power m into a power n. We know this formula a power m times a power n is equal to a power m plus n, right? So using this formula here, we can write this sixty-four power two by three plus one by four. One by four is equal to sixty-four power x. Now is equal to 
we are taking LCM here 64 uh, 4 plus 3 LCM we are taking here 4 3 is a 12 12 3 is a 4 4 2 is a 8 so this will become 8 and here 4 3 is a 12 so 3 into 1 that is 3 so it will become here 3 is equal to 64 power x is equal to square root of 64 8 plus 3 11 by 12 is equal to 64 power x now we can write this 64 power 11 by 12 so 11 by 12 power this is a square root so we can write this 1 by 2 1 by 2 is equal to 64 power x now 64 power here 11 by 2 and here 1 by 2 so this is 12 to the 24 so we can write 11 by 24 is equal to 64 by x now we know the formula a power m if a power m is equal to a power n right if a power m is equal to a power n then we can write m is equal to n using this formula here because base are same here so we can comparing here power so 11 upon 24 is equal to x or we can say x is equal to 11 by 24 and this is the value of x here now we are using second method now we are solving next method square root of 16 square root of 8 is equal to 64 power x right now square root of 16 so we can do here square root of 16 square root of 8 we can take square here taking square both side square both sides now square root of 16 square root of 8 and here square 64 power x square now you can see square and here square root so we can cancel this one now we can write this 16 square root of 8 right 16 square root of 8 is equal to 64 power x times 2 that is 2 times x 2x now again we can uh, take a square here so when we are taking the square of this number 16 square root of 8 square 64 power 2x square now 16 square 16 square and here this square will cancel from square roots this will become 8 is equal to 64 power 2 to the 4 4x right now 16 square this 16 we can write in uh, two terms then 2 to the 4 so 2 power 4 2 power 4 that is 16 and here square times 2 power 3 that is 8 so 2 power 3 is equal to now 64 if we are using here 64 in terms of 2 so we can write this 2 power 6 power 4x right now 2 power 4 to the 8 so we can write this 2 power 8 times 2 power 3 2 power 3 is equal to now 2 power 6 for the 24 24x now we know the formula a power m times a power n is equal to a power m plus n using this formula here we can write this 2 power 8 plus 3 is equal to 2 power 24x right now 2 power 8 plus 3 that is 2 power 11 is equal to 2 power 24x right now power is same here base so we can comparing with base base are same so we can say 24x is equal to 11 right therefore we can write x is equal to 11 by 24 and this is the same solution that's we got in first method thank you